fault on the sound. It was John saying, they didn't bloody tell me about this, as he went over. Once we were up there, and we'd been up there a few minutes, John started to relax. That's it. Oh. How are you? Fine. Good. It's the experience of a lifetime, actually. It is, isn't it? Isn't really? It? Right, then. Then, just as he was getting his confidence, the steeplejacks had to go over the side of the parapet in a bosun's chair arrangement, so you had to lower yourself down to get under the parapet to clean off all the pigeon. <laughs> Kneel down on the on the on the base there. If I kneel down, I'll start praying. I think. <laughs> Again, when he realised he had to hang over the side of the parapet, he wasn't wasn't too happy about that either. Get me the foot. That's it. Yeah. If you look over the edge, you can see all the footholds. Just. I'd rather not look <laughs> over the edge, Jackson. It's one of those sort of sights that you can do without. <laughs> Move down a couple more feet. That's it, get your hands underneath there. Why don't you scrape your hands on there too much? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You're coming down to join me? Yes, I'm coming right down there now. <laughs> okay? Do you yeah. feel all right? Yeah, it feels fine. Good. But again, in his professional way, he overcame that nervousness and was chatting to the steeplejacks as if he'd been, been at it all his life. I suppose before I go down, I had to go right to the yeah, very top. Yeah, why not? There was insurance. I mean, all BBC filming was covered by insurance, but there wasn't any additional insurance. I got into terrible trouble with the Home Secretary, I think it was. They were not pleased that he didn't have any safety harnesses. It wouldn't happen now. Oh, a great deal of what we did would uh, we'd be in prison for now. Yeah, that's a bit dirty. No mind. I don't suppose anybody will see that. We were all in a, a bit of awe of him for it, really. We thought, bloody night, Johnny, well done, mate. You know, could only be proud of it. 